Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my Bath & Body Works collection in regards to body care. I am so excited. I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. When I first uploaded a Bath & Body Works collection video, that was back in like 2012, and that was like my first video to ever get 100,000 views, which is crazy, because I was like one of the only people doing it, and it inspired a ton of other people to kind of share their Bath & Body Works collections as well. So I have filmed this video probably three, three or four times. I don't think my original one is still up because it is very embarrassing. It was like the beginning of YouTube days, but I do have a couple of my older ones up still but I want to go ahead and do this again and share with you what is in my collection I have a ton of different fragrances I feel like I have a lot of kind of the newer ones but you can kind of see what stuff is truly my favorite because I do not keep just anything and everything in my collection I only keep scents that I truly love and use you'll kind of see which ones I do have backups of because I try not to have very many backups but I don't know I'm just really happy with my collection right now every scent is a scent I just smell and I love and I think that's always important not to just keep random things that you're not really using I can't wait to share with you my collection we're gonna be going over my fragrance mist my body creams body lotions and also my shower gels in today's video and I will probably do a separate video for candles if you guys want to see my candle collection but let's go ahead and get started all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and start with the fragrance mist I just have them all in in this little bin um, from when I cleaned them out of my room to organize. So we're just going to pull them out randomly in no particular order, just pulling out from the top. So the first one we have, and this one is Peach Prosecco Macaroon. This one just came out this year. I really love this one. It might be my favorite, I think, peach scent from Bath & Body Works. It's just so sweet. It smells like peaches, sugar, like whipped cream it literally smells like a dessert i love this one we also have this oldie but goodie and this is warm vanilla sugar this has been a bath and body works classic for years it is a very soft and warm cozy vanilla reminds me of just like fall and winter so i kind of keep it for that time i know that this mist isn't like super strong i think the formula changed just a bit based on longevity the older ones used to be very strong hopefully they can make a new one that is very powerful very long lasting but i will always have this scent in my collection it's such a good one from bath and body works this one came out last year this is the pure wonder this one has definitely been one that has grown on me i would say i wasn't obsessed with it when i first got it but now i do really enjoy it it really smells like a expensive perfume in my opinion it has rose in the notes, uh, jasmine, and white amber. It's really pretty. Next up, we have another new scent. This is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. So this came out this summer, and I have to say, I really do enjoy this one a lot. I'm not usually big on tropical, like, pineapple scents. I know they did, like, a pineapple coconut one last year, which was a little bit much for me, but this one is perfect it smells like a very fresh juicy pineapple but not too strong i love that one this is a classic this is bath and body works into the night you probably have heard a lot about this one this is another kind of strong more expensive smelling perfume type of scent it's a signature collection so it's usually available at bath and body works all year round and it's such a good one it's very good for like a nighttime fragrance going out it's very sexy sultry smelling i also have this one this is the candied violet sorbet this one came out in 2021 summertime i think for sas a lot of people either love this or hate it and i actually do really love this one it's definitely one that has grown on me i didn't love it at first because i was expecting more of like you know this picture here it's very like foodie gourmand but it's more i would say fresh floral than anything it has a little bit of a sorbet note in the background but i actually think this is a very pretty scent i love this one for spring next up another one that came out during the semi-annual sale last year this is the cherry limeade this is such a fun one it's one i don't really wear a lot but i love having it in my collection 
This one smells like straight up green gummy worms. It is so good, so fruity and sugary. This is the Midsummer Dream, another one that came out in 2021. I love this scent. It is coming back this year, which I'm really excited about. It's such a pretty one, you guys. It's lighter, but it's so fruity. It smells to me just like kiwi and watermelon. It's actually a dupe of Dolce & Gabbana's La Imperatus perfume. It smells identical. And it's just, it really does remind me of summertime if you want something light and fruity. Next up, we have the Blueberry Sugar Pancakes. This one came out again last year, 2021, um, and it was an online exclusive. This one to me smells like a blueberry muffin mix. It is so authentic, so delicious. I don't get a ton of like maple syrup in there or anything, but it's a really nice one. It's very similar to Santa's blueberry shortbread from a couple holidays ago. And then over here we have the vanilla mocha cream. This one also came out last year. I feel like last year was so many like new scents, which was crazy. Um, this year they're pumping out quite a bit as well, but actually this one was a repackage. So technically this came out two years ago in the fall time, but this is a really nice, if you like a coffee type of scent, definitely more for like the fall winter time. It reminds me a little bit of, I would say replicas coffee break perfume. They do remind me of each other. I definitely get a lot of sweetness in here and a little bit of a mocha background. Next scent, this one is Dahlia. They just discontinued this one last year, which I'm not sure why because it is really good. It has notes of Dahlia petals, praline musk, whipped, whipped tonka bean, and it's such a pretty, sweet, perfumey scent. A lot of people say this reminds them of Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, which I would totally agree with. It really does smell expensive. You get sweetness in there and you also get some floral notes. It definitely reminds me of like a fall fragrance. Next up we have this one, which is Vanilla Rainbow Sprinkles. This one came out, I think a couple years ago. It was a Kanda exclusive fragrance. And then once COVID hit, these started hitting the outlet stores. Um, so I picked this one up. And to me, this one is a pretty close dupe to Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow from Bath & Body Works, which hasn't been out in a long time, but it's actually coming back this summer, so I'm thinking it should be available around May. So really excited about that. I definitely wanna see how they compare, but I pretty much think they are very spot on. A really nice vanilla marshmallow scent. We have this one, which is such a favorite of mine. This is Toasted Praline and a Pear. Oh my goodness. This one came out a few years ago for fall, and I really need them to bring this back because it is excellent. It is like a graham cracker pear caramelized dessert. It is just so delicious. One of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works ever. All right, next we have a classic. This is Almond Blossom. This is one of their retired scents, um, but they still have it available to purchase online. I love almond scents, so I really like to have this one in my collection. It's very sweet, but it does have a little bit of a floral background to it but it is just so pretty. Definitely recommend it for sure, especially for spring. Next up is Coconut Candy Apple. This is such a fun one that came out last fall and definitely very unexpected. Coconut and apple is such a weird like combination, but somehow it works. I think it's really good. I get mostly a candied apple out of this. I don't get a ton of coconut, but I love this one for the fall time. And then we have this one, which is the Sugared Cherry Crisp. This one came out also as a fall scent, I think two years ago now. It's a really pretty, authentic, like cherry, almond. Definitely smells like a dessert. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like Tom Ford Lost Cherry a bit. It is so good, so delicious. You really need this one in your collection. Okay, next, this one also came out last fall and I am obsessed with this. And this is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So this is based off of the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles candle that's been out for years from Bath & Body Works and it is just so good. Uh, I can't get over it. I don't really wear it for spring and summer because it's definitely a fall scent, but it just smells so edible. It's so strong. 
you get like a little bit of spiciness in there but it is so sweet and so like bakery gourmand i'm obsessed with this one next we have a pumpkin cupcake so this version came out last year online exclusive but this scent originally in body care came out like four or five years ago so it is back again and hopefully they keep bringing it back i really like this one and it's also based off of the candle but the candle is a lot more pumpkin-y this one i get more of like a buttercream vanilla frosting scent it's very warm very nice for like evening going to bed just very cozy i really really like it i know some people probably prefer to have more pumpkin in there but i like that it only has a tiny bit of spice all right let's go back over here we have a classic this is boardwalk taffy so this originally came out i think in 2020 and it's such a good one they've kind of replicated it this year with their whipped berry meringue fragrance that's out right now so you can definitely smell exactly like this if you get that scent that's currently available this is is just the OG. Also, Cotton Candy Clouds is also a dupe of it, but this is a pure cotton candy spun sugar scent. Next up is the Whipped Rose Latte. This one also came out very end of last year with the Vanilla Mocha Cream, and this is a new scent for them to do, and I am obsessed with this one. I love rose scents mixed with a vanilla. I just, I can't get enough. I don't like rose on its own, but when it's mixed with sweetness, I can do it. And this one smells to me like roses and like cake. It is so good. It reminds me of like Marie Antoinette, like let them eat cake. I don't know. I just get that kind of vibe. It's just really good. It's like rich cake smelling. This is another amazing scent. This is white t-shirt. Um, this one they brought out this year. Technically, it was a test scent um, a couple years back, but people like wanted it so bad, so they finally released it, and I just love this fragrance. I have it in like the wallflowers, the room sprays. I need it in like a full-size candle because it's like the cleanest, freshest scent. It smells kind of like laundry but it also has like a perfume element especially in the spray that it's not super laundry smelling like I feel like it's definitely very wearable you just smell it very clean definitely recommend white t-shirt next up this one is probably one of my like top five favorite ever scents from Bath and Body Works and it is coconut cream pie oh my gosh this is so delicious and this one I get like a caramel cookie is kind of what it reminds me of I don't get a lot of coconut but I can definitely smell it in there but it is just one of the best gourmands I am absolutely in love with this one and you can get it i think still online right now as an online exclusive next up we have the copper coconut sands this came out this year for summer and i really really enjoy this one they did such a good job this summer i think i'm not like i said i don't like the tropical fruity ones but this one is like a really sexy coconut definitely my kind of summer scent next up this is one of the oldest ones i still have i don't keep a ton of super old scents because i feel like they do change over time this is the boardwalk marshmallow clouds fine fragrance mist and this is one the bath and body works needs to bring back i have some hope that they might since they are bringing beach nights back if they hear us loud enough i think they will bring this one back for us because this has to be one of my favorite vanillas or just marshmallow scents they've ever done um it has whipped vanilla marshmallow meringue and white magnolia and then fluffy sandalwood and something about this is just so incredible it doesn't smell like anything else they've ever done in my opinion okay next we have a beachfront blanket this is another fresh laundry type of scent and this one is definitely more i would say beachy than white t-shirt white t-shirt has more of a perfumed note to it while this one is definitely like pure laundry but also like a sea breeze but it definitely smells like dryer sheets in my opinion but I kind of love these scents from time to time so really good one here is a classic this is strawberry pound cake I have the OG packaging they have repackaged this so many times but it is just so good one of the best dessert scents ever. It definitely smells like a strawberry shortcake. It's so delicious if you guys like gourmands. So this one will always be in my collection. We also have Fireside Flurries. I loved this one that came out last Christmas. It is delicious. Um, it's like a lavender, sugary marshmallow type of scent. It's so good. It's actually a really good dupe for Ariana Grande rem perfume which is this one right here they smell nearly identical next we have bonfire bash 
This has been repackaged so many times, but this is my favorite packaging because it has glittery lids. Like, how fun is that? So this one came out last summer in this packaging, but this is typically a fall scent. And so many people love this one because it's like a toasted marshmallow scent. It's very smoky, very reminiscent of replicas by the fireplace. It's so good, in my opinion, in the fall months, but they kind of dressed it up this way for summer, but yeah. I think it's definitely a very warm scent, so I typically wear it in the colder months. Next up, this is a very loved scent. This is Confetti Cake Pop, and I really never saw the hype in this one when it came out. I always thought that these like cake and vanilla scents all smelled the same, but now I can kind of differentiate different notes. Like I used to think this one smelled really similar to the Coconut Cream Pie, but now I definitely see a little difference. I think they are similar, but this one is not as caramely. It's definitely more like your vanilla cupcake type of scent. I feel like they might be repackaging this one for the summer. They have a new scent coming out. The new scent is called Vanilla Confetti Sparkle, but the packaging is so similar to this one. So I'm thinking it might be repackaged, and a lot of people want to get their hands on this. The people sell this mist for ridiculous prices on like Mercari and stuff, but it's a really nice just vanilla cupcake scent. Another really amazing one is the Raspberry Jam Donut. So this one came out a couple years ago, and this is so good. It smells exactly like what the name is. I really smell a donut. Like I get the powdered sugar, I get the baked element of it and I get the delicious raspberry jam inside. It is perfection, very strong, so sugary sweet. This is a favorite of mine and it is sweet whiskey. So this one came out originally, I think it's been a couple years now and they have repackaged it a couple times. This one, I can't even explain it to you. It's in my, in my opinion, it's a little bit similar to Bonfire Bash, but it's not quite as sweet like it doesn't really have the marshmallow notes that Bonfire Bash has but it has the smokiness of it it's so good one of my absolute favorites and then we have this is another retired scent cashmere glow I remember when this one originally came out I really love this I wish they would get new packaging because I'm not really a fan of this but this is such a good one for fall and winter it has like a brown sugar peachy note to it and it's really pretty next scent this is pink watermelon and this one it came out originally it's been a couple years i think 2020 is when it came out and there is a new watermelon scent coming out which i think i don't know if it's going to be different or a repackage i don't know what else they could do with watermelon but this is a pure fresh watermelon kind of scent it has a little bit of sweetness but it's just so true to the name um and i like this really fun packaging this one came out last year and it's been a loved one from bath and body works it's in their signature collection so you can get this all year round this is fairy tale and what made this one so popular is i think it's because it smells so like expensive and it actually is a really good dupe for ysl libra i think is how you say it lieb I don't know. I always get corrected in the comments. But yeah, it smells very similar to that. This one I feel like is a little bit more like orangey. I love the florals in here. It's a warm floral, so expensive smelling. Next up, we have the Ivory Cashmere. This one also came out last year in 2021. This one to me is very soft and very relaxing. I, another one I would wear for like cozy nights, bedtime. It's so pretty. It has notes of lakeside air, silver musk, and white amber. Here's another Canada exclusive, and this one is so good. This is sugar-coated. I don't know why they did not release this one nationwide because it is excellent, and I only have a spray. I was never able to get anything else, but this one actually smells like the pink fairy gumdrop candle, so it has like this almost sweet tart smell. You can get like this candy smell. It's a little powdery, like powdered sugary, but it's so sweet. It literally smells like candy. Next up, we have Oahu Coconut Sunset. I really enjoy this one. It's one of my favorite coconut scents that they do because it's just very pretty, very beachy. It has bergamot, tuberose, Hawaiian Manoi is in here too, and I actually brought this one with me to Oahu, so now every time I spray it, it just reminds me of my Hawaii trip, but one of my favorite tropical scents from Bath and & Body, and it's usually only online only now, so you can't really find it in stores. Okay, next we have the Cozy Sunday Morning. This one came in that same collection with the Whipped Rose Latte. This is another very cozy scent. Um, it has a lot of lavender in it. It's also vanilla and sandalwood, so it has 
just a warm warming sweetness to it it's so pretty next we have the gingham heart of gold this is probably my favorite version of gingham they've had three now and i think this is the only one i still have in my collection but i think this one is so good because it's very sweet and gingham's usually very fresh but this one has like a really pretty like caramely apple note to it. Next, this one came out last year for 4th of July and so many people love it. This is Firecracker Pop. It is coming back this year. Super exciting. But this smells to me like a popsicle. Like this reminds me of a bomb pop. It has the red, white, and blue notes. There is red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. So it has a lot of the cherry in there. It reminds me of like a bomb pop or like a cherry slushy, but it's just so perfect for summer. Next up, we have Christmas cookies. This one I'm kind of annoyed with because I feel like they have changed it since it came out originally and I just have this packaging. I really want them to go back to the old formula because the old one had so much more almond and this one has like a weird fresh air note. It's the caramel woods I think that makes it smell weird on me, but it's still a nice one. You get like almond biscotti in here, uh, creamy cookie dough. It's still really good, but I just wish they would go back to the old formula. Next up, we have the Sunrise Woods. This one also came out last fall. It's actually a very pretty scent. It's really light, but it's very soft, a little musky and powdery. I don't know. I just really like it, and I feel like it dries down and has a really pretty sweetness to it. Next one, this is Twinkling Nights. I think this one came out last year during the semi-annual sale. This is really pretty, very expensive smelling. I'm surprised they don't add this one to like their signature collection because I think it's so good. It has frosted jasmine petals with vanilla and mandarin blossom. It really smells like a perfume with the floral notes in there, but it also has a little sweetness to it with the vanilla. This one I recently picked up. I had to buy it from a reseller, but I don't know why I never like got into the hype with this one but it is so good i know for a while in the early days i was not buying as much bath and body works but now i've just kind of gotten back into it again but this is so pretty i don't even know if it has the notes on here but it is like a really sweet sugary fruity scent it has a really pretty warmth to it that i love and i'm not really big on fruity scents but this one i think is a must next we have the fresh coconut and cotton also in the same line as the white t-shirt obsessed with this one i'm so surprised by how much i love it it smells a little laundry ish but it also has a really pretty coconut note in here i cannot get enough i love this one now this one is definitely one of my all-time, all-time favorites. I really need them to bring this back. This is Champagne Sprinkles. Oh my gosh. This smells so good. It smells to me like raspberry frosting on a vanilla cake. I can't get enough. I really can't. I need to get some more backups of this one. But it has sparkling champagne, raspberry icing, and rainbow sprinkles. Highly recommend picking this one up if you don't own it already and you love sweet raspberry scents. Next up we have the Pastel Skies. This one came out this spring. It's a little bit similar to uh, the Fireside Flurries that I showed earlier. This one here, it has a little bit of that like lavender coconut essence to it, but it also has a fruitiness in it from the berries. And I think this one is gorgeous. Of course I love it since I do love Fireside Flurries, but highly recommend. Now we have another classic. This is In the Stars. This has been out for quite a few years from Bath & Body Works. It's one of their signature scents. And what is so popular about this one is it smells, once you have it on and it's dried down, it smells like Ariana Grande's Cloud Perfume. It has that same essence. And they redid the packaging last year and I think it's so beautiful. Okay, next we have the Pear Creme Brulee. This one came out this spring. And it's kind of been a hit or miss for people. <laughs> It's definitely a kind of a different smell, and I don't think everyone loves it because the pear is very strong in this one. It's kind of like a caramely, airy pear. I don't know. I'm not like in love, but I think it's like fun once in a while, so I do have it in my collection. Next up, we have the Pink Velvet Cupcake. This one has been out for a few years as well. I have last year's packaging. Oh my goodness, I love this one. It usually comes out for fall, but it's so good for all year round. It smells like candy to me. It is so sweet. I wouldn't say it smells like cupcakes. It just, it's sweet, but just not like a cake smell, but it is like sugary, candy, frosting kind of scent. So good. 
Next, I have Coastal Hydrangeas. This one was out, I think, two years ago. And this one is such a good aquatic scent. Um, it smells very similar to Giorgio Armani's Aqua de Joya. So that's why I love to keep this one in my collection because it does smell like perfume. It is so good and I love aquatic scents like this. It has notes of hydrangeas, ocean mist, and then golden apples, which is kind of interesting. Next scent, this is Lemon Drop Martini. I really enjoy this one as well. If you guys like lemon, it reminds me so much of the original like OG lemon vanilla scent that they used to have a long time ago. It is a really sweet lemon. It's a little sour from like the sparkling notes and then I get a vanilla background. Love this one for summer. Next we have the Saltwater Breeze. This one recently came out again to this year and I really like this one as well for the summertime. It's another kind of laundry scent where it has a little bit of that linen smell. But I get more kind of ocean air with this one. It just reminds me of being at the beach in the morning, just on a maybe spring morning. Next we have Berry Waffle Cone. This one has grown on me a bit. I didn't love it at first, but this one is based off of the original Berry Waffle Cone candle, which is super loved. And I do feel like it does smell like that in a way. It can almost be a little much at times because it is so sweet and it really does smell like a dessert, but I don't know, I like to have it once in a while. It has berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla in the notes, but it can definitely be sweetness overload at times. Now this one is the Wrapped in Sunshine. This one came out last fall and it's a really fun one, kind of unexpected. It's actually like a peach scent, which you guys can kind of tell I like peaches a lot. But I think this one is really pretty. I actually would wear this more in the spring and summer because it is a really pretty sweet peach. Um, a little bit of a mango note in there too. It's called Golden Citrus. I'm definitely going to pull this out for the spring summer months. We're nearing the end of the mist. This one is the Love Cotton Candy in Champagne. This one came out last holiday. This one reminds me so much of the Pink Sugar Perfume. It has like a bubbly note in here as well, but it's really pretty like cotton candy pink sugar scent. Another peach one, this is the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. This one I really like as well, but I think I like the peach macaroon just a bit more. This one I like, but it's so light that I have to spray a lot to get any scent from it. But it is an authentic like peaches and cream type of scent. Next we have Vanilla Bean Noel, and I'm trying to save this bottle because they have redone this scent and it does not smell as good it's like it has no scent throw at all so i have an older version they really need to fix this and bring back the old formula but it's a really pretty warm vanilla scent next up is this one which is golden clementine and amber they came out with this one for thanksgiving last year and i actually like this one a lot it's very fruity but i do think it fits in the fall months as well because it has that really pretty cozy warm amber in it next up we have bright lemon snowdrop this is another one that so many of us want to see back. It's such a good lemon scent. It is very sweet. It smells like a little bit like lemon pound cake a little bit. I absolutely adore this and I do hope to see it back soon because I feel like mine is starting to smell really strong of alcohol. And I feel like once they start going bad, you get a really strong alcohol smell. Um, but once it dries down, you still get the delicious gourmand lemon. Next, we have the Rose Water Meringue. This is such a good one. Again, I love rose and vanilla scents, and this one is so pretty. It reminds me a little bit of like rose water and ivy a little, but I think it's gorgeous. It's a little stronger than the Whipped Rose Latte, but Whipped Rose Latte is a little bit sweeter. We also have the Sunset Glow. They discontinued this one, and I really hope they bring it back because it's such a good scent. It's very sweet. It has a lot of notes in it, like coconut, cherry dreamy moonflower and caramelized vanilla i absolutely love it the mixture of these notes is perfection must try for sure if you can get it off of mercari and then this is my very last one which i literally just picked up the other day this is the buttercups and berry bellini one of their newer scents this one i think is really pretty it reminds me of like strawberry candy it's really sweet, um, but not like overly sweet like strawberry soda was. It has strawberry puree, buttercup flowers, and bubbly Prosecco. I really like this one. I also wanted to show with you my backup fragrance mist. So I try not to keep too many backups because I don't go through fragrance mists very fast. And 
if I want another one, I will just go ahead and buy it off Mercari typically. So these are like my top tippy top favorite scents of life and that is why I do have a backup. So first up, we have the Whipped Berry Meringue. Now technically this is a new scent, but it's pretty much a backup of the Boardwalk Taffy, so that's why it's in the backup area. We also have a backup of Sunset Glow, just because I'm not sure if it will come back or not. I actually have two backup coconut cream pies because I'm just in love with this scent. Fireside Flurries, of course. Had to have Whipped Rose Latte. Fresh Coconut and Cotton, I really love that one. Had to make sure I grabbed a backup white t-shirt in case it never comes back again. Sweet Whiskey as well. I, this one I think would come back, but I just got a really good deal on it. Raspberry Jam Donut. Peach Prosecco Macaroon, or at Macaron, I should say. Champagne Sprinkles. Surprisingly, only one backup. Winter Peach Marshmallow. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And Strawberry Pound Cake. This is the new faceted packaging. I also have a couple Bath & Body Works perfumes too. I've been collecting these a bit more. So I have the You're the One perfume. I actually got a really good deal on this. That's why I don't have the mist of it, but this is a really pretty expensive, very strong rose kind of scent. It's a little sweet. It has a drop of strawberry nectar in it, but I love this one. It's so good. I also have the Open Sky perfume, which I really love in the perfume. Not so much like in the mist. This is very much a fresh scent. It has a little sweetness to it with the vanilla but I really enjoy this one in the perfume. I think it's pretty. And then I also have the Midsummer Dream in a perfume since the mist is a little light. I like having the perfume version to kind of have a little bit of a stronger scent throw. So it smells identical to the spray, in my opinion, just a bit stronger. All right, guys, so here's most of my body creams. I do have a lot of body cream. It is my preference for my kind of lotions. I'm not a huge fan of the regular lotions. I know the body creams go bad faster, but I actually do go through these fairly quickly and I use a lot. So let me first share with you the older ones I have that I need to use up. So they're actually gonna be put in this guy to organize to make sure I go for these and try to use them up this year. So first up, we have the strawberry pound cake. I'm making some good progress on this one. So usually they have a date code here. So it starts with a zero. That means this was made in 2020 and I should probably use it up since it is a couple years old. I find that these don't really last for more than three years before they get chunky and goopy. So and the scent can kind of change a little bit, so I do try to use them up in time. So that one needs to be used up. I also have the In the Stars and the older packaging that I need to use up. Also, You're the One. I got these at a really good deal during some of my annual sale because they now have a new body cream formula that now has hyaluronic acid. Next up, I do have the Confetti Cake Pop. I'm almost done with this one. I think it's like down to here. I have been trying to save it, but I think it's time to use it up. I'm really hoping they come out with this again. And I do have a backup of Confetti Cake Pop as well, full size. Also, Sunset Glow. We have Boardwalk Taffy, which is almost gone. I do have the Whipped Berry Meringue as my backup that I could use with the mist, um, since this basically smells the same as Boardwalk Taffy. Next up is Pink Watermelon. I have Raspberry Jam Donut, which I swear I had a backup of, and I'm not seeing it in my collection anywhere. So might have to look for that. I thought I did, but I know I have a lotion. Also the Lemon Drop Martini. This is Toasted Praline and Pear. This is from 2019, but I've been saving it. So I just, I need to use it up, even though I am sad to use it all, but I don't want it to go bad. Also Sugared Cherry Crisp. Rose Water Meringue. This one's also from 2019. This is Sweet Whiskey, which I have a really good dent in. I'm almost done with that. I do have a backup of this one. I actually have two backups of Sweet Whiskey, full size that just came out recently last year. And I need to use up this True Blue Spa Vanilla Almond. This is a super rich body cream. This is so thick. It's really good though, but I should probably start using it up. Okay, so let's go here in my first row to sharing what I have. I do have two pink vanilla cupcake, one I'm using now and one is a backup. Same with the pumpkin cupcake. I went ahead and grabbed a backup because I don't know if it'll be back next year. Also the coconut candy apple, the fall line last year was just too, too good. I have the original coconut cream pie and also the new version, both the same scent, just different packaging. A Thousand Wishes I recently picked up at the outlet for a good price. 
I have the Bonfire Bash. I actually need to use this one up too because this one's from 2020. So I'm gonna put that in my use it up pile. And then we have three Fireside Flurries. I have two Berry Waffle Cone. Fresh Coconut and Cotton, which I will be getting a backup of during a semi-annual sale, I believe, which is usually end of May, early June. Also, I have two Champagne Sprinkles. I need more of this though. I wish they had it in like a lotion. Into the Night, Pure Wonder. Firecracker Pop, Pastel Skies. I'll definitely be getting a backup of this um, during SAS. I have four pumpkin pecan waffles because I am obsessed and I'm scared they won't bring it back. The older version of Vanilla Bean Noel, that should also go in my use it up pile. And blueberry sugar pancakes, almond blossom, open sky, warm vanilla sugar, pear creme brulee, Peach Prosecco Macaroon, which I also will be gaining backups. And I have two Love Cotton Candy Champagne. I have three Whipped Rose Latte, which you could tell is definitely a fave. Beachfront Blanket, Twinkling Nights. I have two Christmas Cookies, Golden Clementine and Amber, Dahlia, Vanilla Mocha Cream, two of the Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. We have Coastal Hydrangeas, Gingham Heart of Gold, Copper Coconut Sands. This is the new Love Coco Rose Aromatherapy. It is kind of a strong rose scent, but it has a hint of like a dark chocolate note in here, but very heavy on the rose, but I do enjoy it. Buttercups and Berry Bellini. This one I haven't talked about yet. This is Belize. This is another one of my favorite tropical scents that came out last year, and I don't know why I never purchased a full-size spray. I have a mini of it, which you'll probably see later, but yeah. I don't know, I need to go ahead and order one off of Mercari. This is like one of the only banana body care scents Bath & Body Works has done, but it's like a sunscreen banana smell. So not pure banana, but it's close enough for me. I do have two of the white t-shirt and two Midsummer Dream. We have Fairy Tail, Saltwater Breeze, Wrapped in Sunshine and marshmallow pumpkin latte. Next in my collection, we have my lotions and my body butter. So I don't really buy a lot of the lotions because it's not my favorite texture. They're just not as moisturizing for me as the body creams, but if you guys are a collector collecting mostly for scents and plan to have them in your collection for a while, then I would go with the lotions because they last longer in your collection. They don't expire as fast. Let me just start with the body butters. I don't have too many really. I only have four. I had more, uh, but I decluttered all the glowing ones because I just did not like the sparkle on me. First up, we have the avocado extract from the wellness collection. I really, really like this one. It's so fresh smelling. It reminds me a little bit of like cucumber melon in a way, but I don't know. It's just very refreshing. I love this one for summer. I also have the Twisted Peppermint, and this is the Cloud Body Butter version. I have not tried this one yet. I picked it up during SAS when Christmas was over. This is definitely something I strictly wear in, like, December. I also have the Bonfire Bash Whipped Body Butter. Obsessed with this scent, as you guys know. And I have the Vanilla Bean Noel. All right, next for lotions, we have this collection, and I mostly bought these in lotions because I loved the packaging. <laughs> this is just so pretty to me. This is the Vanilla Mocha Cream Whipped rose latte and cozy Sunday morning. Now, if I do love a scent, I will usually also have it in a lotion if I'm obsessed with this. So raspberry jam donut we have, pumpkin cupcake, pink watermelon, coconut cream pie, coconut candy apple, and firecracker pop. And then for the last row, we have cherry limeade, pink pineapple sunrise, now here's a new one, Plumeria. They have not released this one back in a long time. I really want a spray, but this is a classic scent from Bath & Body. It is so pretty to me. The notes are pink Plumeria, peach nectar, red apple, night blooming jasmine and gardenia. It's such a pretty sweet floral. I do have confetti cake pop. This bright lemon snowdrop, which is getting a little old, but we love it. <laughs> lemon drop martini and Belize Tropical Cabana, which is the banana one I was talking about earlier. All right, you guys, here is my shower gels and body scrubs, which is definitely an excessive amount, but I do go through these the most. I'm always rotating different scents out that I feel like wearing, um, like in the shower for the day. 
So with the shower gels, these are pretty much, I keep shower gels in my all-time favorite scents and I really love wearing really fresh and clean scents in the shower. First up, we do have Ivory Cashmere. I also have a Berry Waffle Cone, which smells amazing in the shower gel. Sometimes Bath & Body Works shower gels are like the best scent in the whole line, which is crazy. Coastal Hydrangeas. Of course, white t-shirt. I actually have two white t-shirts. So I have my new one and my old one, original white t-shirt. Pumpkin pecan waffles. I have two sweet whiskeys. This one you can see it definitely is like halfway full I've been using it and then a backup my champagne is sprinkles, which I'm like halfway done with Belize This one smells so good in the shower It has even more banana than the lotion and the spray cozy Sunday morning I kind of got this because I just thought it's cute to use this on like Sunday mornings <laughs> Whipped Rose Latte, Bright Lemon Snowdrop, Raspberry Jam Donut, Christmas Cookies, another great shower scent, Beachfront Blanket. I have two. Oh, I guess I have two Coastal Hydrangeas and two Raspberry Jam Donuts. <laughs> Not doing very well here with the organization. Fireside Flurries and Sugared Cherry Crisp. Next, we'll do moisturizing and body washes. I always buy these when they are on sale. I do like these a lot. They're thicker and creamier than the shower gels, so I do have Fairy Tail. The Love Cotton Candy Champagne, Strawberry Pound Cake, Sunset Glow, In the Stars, Bonfire Bash, Pure Wonder, and another in the star. All right, these are my scrubs. I don't mind the Bath & Body Works scrubs. They're not my favorite ever, but I really actually like the foaming ones. That would be my favorite. So I have strawberry pound cake in the foaming. This is Dahlia. It's actually a creamy petal body scrub. And I love these confetti ones. They remind me of like Funfetti frosting. It's the Vanilla Bean Noel Whipped Sugar Scrub. We have the Sweet Whiskey Celestial Scrub, which is more like glowy. Also the In the Stars Celestial Scrub. Pink Berry Clouds Creamy Scrub. I have not talked about this scent yet, but... It's a little similar to Boardwalk Taffy, but it has a like fresh air note in it for fall. And it's not my favorite scent, but I do like it in the scrub to pair it with like Boardwalk Taffy and Whipped Berry Meringue. And lastly is the Fairy Tail Creamy Body Scrub. All right, now in here I have some minis. I just thought I would kind of randomly pull these out and share with you what I have in the minis. I usually buy these during mini sales. Uh, they're just nice for travel. So I have a You're the One Body Cream. The Hot Cocoa and Cream Body Cream. I also have the Matching Fragrance Mini. This is Merry Cookie, which is basically Christmas cookies, the good version. I also have this new version, which is pretty much the same, Merry Cookie. And the Matching Fragrance Mist. And then this is the matching one for last year's version. I have the Happy Halloween Vampire Blood Scent Matching Mist and Lotion. I have Into the Night Body Cream. Dahlia body cream. That is not Bath & Body Works, so let me get that out. I do have a Thousand Wishes spray. I have, for some reason, I think I got some of these in a stocking, but I do have two Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Mists. Belize Tropical Cabana. I do have Bonfire Bash. Twisted Peppermint. I only have this in a mini because it's just not something I wear too often. Coconut Cream Pie. Fairy Tale and sweet whiskey. So that's my minis. I'm not gonna share shower gels because I only have like a couple of those because I go through those quick for traveling. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this really fun, maybe helpful if you're looking for some scents to try. And if you want me to keep doing these like yearly or whatnot, if my collection changes very much, I don't know, I kind of stopped doing them because my collection was pretty much the same. I just kind of keep the scents I really enjoy. Definitely leave me a comment down below if you saw any of your favorites, any old favorites and let me know if you guys want to see my candle collection. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.